We got the draft coming up for WWE starting on Friday and continuing on Monday. And I guess everybody will be mixed up for a month. And then, of course, we'll have Survivor Series. But uh, what do you think is coming? Well, I have no idea what's coming, and, and probably nobody else does either. From what I was told today, um, that USA and Fox do know a few things, you know, like the key guys. So the key guys are decided. Nothing else is decided. Everything can change. Right now, NXT is supposed to be, there's supposed to be people drafted from NXT um, and to freshen up both brands. Um, and as a person who told me, who said that, said, this can also change completely tomorrow. But they're under the impression there will be a lot of people from NXT, or, or I don't want to say a lot, but many people from NXT. The NXT guys are supposed to be a significant part of it. Um, but you know the problem with this is? There's a million problems. Well, the big problem is you're doing a draft, and Raw can go to SmackDown, SmackDown can go to Raw, NXT can go to Raw or SmackDown. Nobody can go to NXT. But no one's going to NXT, so it's like what all you're doing when you say freshen up the rosters is you're adding bodies... And you're just going to end up with a bunch of people that aren't working, especially if we have the the way they've been doing TV of late, where we just see the same matches over and over again. I mean, at some point, no, I mean, no, we get to see new matches over and over again. Uh, shouldn't some of these people be going to NXT for at least a period so they could help these young guys learn how to work? Yeah, why not? But I don't know if they're doing it. But yeah, it makes sense. But um. I'm, so the thing is, is like of the guys that are in NXT now, um, and ready. Is there? I, can you come up with one person? I mean, maybe Raquel Gonzalez. Maybe I could see her. Um, she's still she's still green in some ways, but but I mean, I think that you know she was doing very very well in NXT. Um, I suppose Dakota Kai, you know, who hasn't even been on NXT and was was and did have many tryouts. And Aaliyah, remember, didn't wasn't Aaliyah like on the main roster? Yeah, Aaliyah we, got called up, and then we never saw her again. Yeah, so 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 she may be drafted. Dakota Kai may be drafted, but they're not game changers. Neither of them, um, they're just bodies. I mean, is there anyone? Is there anyone like like yeah? You can bring up a million bodies, but is there anyone out there in NXT right now that they are going to bring up that's going to make a difference? I um, mean, because Karen Cross, um, you know, he's already up. But I mean, he he was a guy that you could see where they were grooming, um, because it, it's like they're not you, we, you look, they're not gonna make a difference with Kyle O'Reilly, and I I don't know that he's gonna even be brought up. Um, Gargano and Ciampa probably never be brought up. Ciampa, but well, it doesn't matter if you're the champ; they may you know change their mind and you know bring you up if they want to. But um, yeah, it's like I, I'm hearing like you know like like who Pete Dunne. Um, which actually, you know, he'd probably be good. He's such a good wrestler, and and they, you can always use. To me, you can always. Use, there's always a place for a guy like Pete Dunne, who always has a great match. Um, there's, you know, even in WWE, there's always a place for that guy on the main roster. But uh, they're very slow in getting those people there. So, so yeah, that's the thing. So right now, um, that's what it is. So, so at the end of the show, when Drew McIntyre showed up. To face Big E, it's like, oh, maybe they're not going to send Drew McIntyre over. And maybe well, it's what be I Lashley. thought when I saw that was my presumption is that Lashley is going to go to Raw That's and my Drew no, you mean McIntyre. Smackdown. Sma Smackdown. Lashley's going to go to Smackdown, right? No, I'm sorry. Uh, Big E's going to go to Raw because he's champion. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we've yeah, already e, got the other. I, I think Big E, every, Big e to Raw. And of course, like I said, you can always change your mind. But I had heard Biggie to Raw like months ago, well, sure. like as as one of the sure things. But yeah. the point is, if Biggie's going to Raw, then Drew McIntyre can still go to SmackDown because the draft is two nights. So on the second night of the draft, you do Drew McIntyre versus Biggie for the title because they're all into doing title matches on TV, and Biggie can beat him, and then Drew goes to SmackDown. You could do that too. Yeah, that's viable. Um. That could be done. I don't know. I, I didn't sense. But if you send both of them over, then who goes across? I mean, I guess Seth Rollins could do that. Kevin Owens could do that. Those kind of guys that are they're, that are good, but they don't really have a program right now. Um, they did a lot of Seth Rollins Big E matches um, at house shows. So I could see Seth Rollins moving over and being like an opponent for Big E 
um you know that that makes sense uh you know because the edge thing it doesn't matter what brand that's on and they're probably going to do one more match anyway which i'm going to guess is uh saudi right it looks like saudi's going to be edge and seth bill goldberg and lashley and for sure it's uh, roman reigns and um brock lesnar so um you know that's what that's that's the deal right now royal rumble is coming to st louis yeah the dome so the more the most interesting thing about royal rumble is the date it's going to be on a saturday night because the sunday night which would have been the 30th they're going to have both the um well one of them might be afternoon but they're going to have the nfc and the afc championship games um so usually they they run the royal rumble on the sunday between the um championship games and the super bowl which would be uh february 5th 6th whatever the sunday is that week that would be the date so um they didn't want to i guess they didn't want to wait until february for that show and i mean they could because they're doing that january 1st show from atlanta and then um you know you can you can wait till february 5th but they are gonna you know the decision was to go on the saturday night and i don't think there's any big sports events on that saturday night football is pretty much going to be over uh by then so um yeah you know that's uh and obviously a lot more dome shows the that's going to be the dome um I'm sure, you know, there's talk of a UK show at a stadium, you know, Wembley or something next year. I don't know how, you know, I don't know if that's true, true, but it's there's certainly been talk of that. Um, you know, obviously the money in the bank is going to be the dome. I'm sure Summer, I mean, not a dome, but um, at Allegiant Stadium. Uh, I'm sure SummerSlam is going to be at a stadium. So they're going to be uh, they're going to be running a lot of bigger shows next year. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.